Hey everybody, it's Chugga Conroy! Welcome back to more Pokemon XD Gale of Darkness in the last episode! We got a lot of various things done around the Aura region and headed here to the Snagum Hideout! And in this episode, we are going to be going through said Snagum Hideout and hopefully finding where Gonzap is, as we know he has a Snag Machine! And actually, I think I might have passed this up. You can see a very, very bulky bicep right over there that may or may not be his, just saying. Anyway, as we're going through here, there are a lot, and I mean a lot, of battles. By the way, also, two free revives! Not that I'm complaining about how good these item boxes are, but damn, they just pour these items onto you. Okay, so, um, yeah, a lot of snagum goons. You can talk to them and they'll fight you if you want to. Your Makuhita can be purified at the Purify Chamber, if you're really, really adamant about playing along. And in fact... Yeah, doesn't try to stop us from getting this free PP up either. And this area might be recognizable. You might recognize this as the room where Wes stole the snag machine five years ago. There's even the wall he busted down while he was going into a sweet ride. Yeah. See, it's a historical site. Indeed it is. Walk up here, and once again, they don't try to stop us. Nothing of the sort. Not at all. I'm actually starting to wonder if I'll even need a speed up like I was thinking I would need to. Uh, this item chest right here is locked. You're gonna want to remember where this is for later, just because it's kind of important. Should you want to go back to the main area and heal, you can walk out of here but not back in. That's really all I have to say about that. Honestly, I think I'm just gonna off-screen fight all those trainers that you can talk to, but they won't necessarily fight you, and I'll meet you guys back where we started this video. Haven't been earning much money lately, so you couldn't repair this wall. Yeah, it's because you bought a whole bunch of revives and hyper potions to stick on your floor. I've heard this stuff makes a really great interior decorating. Alright, we're back. So what does Snagum HQ have for us now? More free items, uh, more trainers that will not challenge us. I can't really think of anything else that I can say about it. Hey, look! More free items! TM29! What does that contain? I think it's... Psychic like it is in every game, though, but let's see. Or is that 28? No, nope, I was wrong. It is indeed Psychic. Now, question is, do I use this? Let me think about this for a moment. Yeah, I'm gonna give this to Jinzo. Just because it does not learn Psychic via level up in Generation 3. So, goodbye, Psybeam. Maybe you will now be halfway competent at attacking now that I'm teaching you this. Haha! <laughs> oh, that feels good. Okay, Jinzo learned Psychic. And, huh, kid, didn't I see you before? Yeah, you did. You know what, Biden? We're gonna fight you just because you are one of those jerks that attacked us out in the desert. Sends out Oddish and Crobat. Hey, we're actually getting into some really good Pokemon here. I think Crobat's the uh, third or fourth fastest, I think it is. I think it's tied with Aerodactyl, wherever it is in the ranking, though, so hey, it's actually pretty fast. Not as fast as my Jolteon, but hey, what is, as I always say? Let's go for a Blizzard. Come on, do it. Really, really hoping. Oh crap, oh crap, oh crap. Oh good, okay. I was about to say that I should have done light screen though, but I was just really eager to try out my psychic. Okay, do it. Do it good. It actually one hitted something. Yay! Earlier it didn't, it was not able to one hit an Oddish and. Oh. Level 36. Awesome, okay. Uh, I think I'm good to take that experience share off of Jinzo, just saying, because. Yeah, it's kind of the- oh, come on! It's kind of the uh, most powerful member of my team at this point in terms of level, which is sad because it's not evolved yet. Uh, uh-oh. Uh, okay, good. Sorry, I'm, I'm just really into this battle right here, though, because this is pretty cool. Critical hit! Damn! All it took was a TM to make Jinzo a powerhouse, man! So much for being a tank, so much for being the support Pokemon, man. That is good! Okay, Blossom. Okay, I can deal with that. Water Pulse! Torkoal is totally going down. I can't believe that Torkoal was... You know, I found that Torkoal was pure fire. Um, well, I mean, I've learned that before, though, but I was reminded Torkoal was pure fire in the comments a few videos ago. And that's just kind of the thing, is that, like I said, I can never remember for sure what type Torkoal is. I'm always like, is it fire, rock, fire, ground, or just fire? And sure enough, I always come back to it always being just fire. I don't know why I always forget that fact. It's like I said, it's like as a kid, you always think Gengar's gone as ground type. All right, can we get another one hit? Nah, I didn't think so. Oh, well. A guy can dream. Mustache, finish it off. Okay. So. 
Biden. You want to know what's awesome? Have we met somewhere before? No, not the fact that you're trying to get me with pickup lines. What is awesome is that Jinzo is evolving! Yes! Ah, uh, feels so good. Last member of the team to evolve. We got clay it all now. It's bulky, does a decent job doing damage. I am very, very happy with this, and just in time for it learning Psychic, too. Let's to learn Hyper Beam! Um, wow. Nah, if I change my mind later, I can just use the move relearner. Yeah, stop teaching Hyper Beam. I know that Claydol having Hyper Beam is kind of like a natural thing, because, you know, you always fight him in the wild with that. I get it now, you're only a sleeper when I went to go get the snack machine. Okay, I get it now. I won't have to agonize over this. You're the kid from back there, I got it now. Yeah, I don't know, I just, like, I feel better off having self-destruct on it. Hey, walk it! That snag machine you that snag machine you say you went and got. What's up with it? It's too honking small. How am I supposed to fit this thing on my arm? But uh it's not because the snag machine's small, it's because your arm is so thick, Gonzap. Should your yeah, bring me something as so useless as this, huh? Who is that kid there? Hey, you! You're that kid! You must have come here for the snag machine! He's walking over to us. And for that pun, he battles me. Wonderful. So yes, we gotta fight Biden, then Walken. And I think you know what's coming up next after this battle with Walken. I, I really hope you do. And he's got Gloom Gloom for his starting Pokemon. I'm sorry, I just think that's kinda cool because Gloom always says Gloom twice whenever it talks like in the anime and stuff like that. Alright, Jinzo, send you out. You're floating in the air. That is, uh, can't get over this. It's so cool that I have clay it all now. It's awesome. Alright, so... Walkin' putting us to sleep with Sleep Powder does not think to do the same thing here, but I do have to say this. While we are fighting against Walkin' himself, I'm a really big fan of this guy. Not not because of his design or anything like that, though, but just because... I, I didn't take the experience chair off of uh, the all, I just noticed. But what he does stands out. Um, in the games, you don't see Pokemon using attacks on humans commanded by their trainers as often as you do in, say, the anime. And because of that, him using Sleep Powder was not only a brilliant move in the situation, because it really freaking worked, but it's just, it's something that always stood out to me. You don't really see that happening in the games very much versus the anime, and that's always something that I liked more about the anime. You know, I, I understand the anime's definitely got its problems though, but I always liked that how you would see stuff like that. You know, you would have, um, for example, Pokemon Hunter J. Uh, so she would order things like for her Salamence to use Hyper Beam directly on Ash. I mean, that is nipping the problem right in the bud before you know he's able to send out any Pokemon against her. The stuff like that, I, I actually do like seeing, and I do wish the games would do stuff like that more often. I know why they don't, because you know they they always promote the idea that Pokemon don't normally attack people. But I think it's also just as established that, you know, the masters of a Pokemon can make a Pokemon do bad things. In fact, that was what a lot of the earlier games and series were about. So, yeah, Walken, call me a fan. I like the fact that you did something like that because you don't see that a whole lot in game canon. I, I know that the manga does that a lot more, which I I've heard the manga is very good and that a lot of Pokemon fans don't really get into it, which is kind of a shame because I've heard it's surprisingly very good. But... Yeah, I don't know. It's just something that really wanted me to bring up. Uh, I really wanted myself to bring up. I mean, <laughs> God, can we take down Mantine already? This is getting really frustrating. Uh, I think I'll go for Light Screen on this next turn just because I want to shield myself a little bit better. Uh, well, nah, I'll go for the damage. We'll go, uh, we'll go Water Pulse there. Yeah. Okay, don't be confused, please. Good. Psychic. Boom. Down goes Mantine, and Forester should go down the same turn as well, if I'm lucky. I don't know why I'm fighting so many Pokemon that I've used on my team here. I mean, we have Absol, and in a fight you didn't see, there was Misdreavus. Now we're fighting Fortress, so I gotta say, it's kinda cool. Grumpig. I haven't used that in a team, I gotta say. Grumpig is just kinda one of those weird Pokemon that a lot of people seem to forget exists half the time. I don't know. Am I the only one who forgets that Grumpig exists, though? Because I certainly never see it talked about. I... Actually, have had people like I've had times where I've had like friends over and Grumpig just happened to be on my screen. They're like, "Wait a minute, that's a Pokemon!" And it just—it's one of those weird ones that just doesn't get talked about. And uh oh, okay, good, only two hits. Okay, so I didn't have anything to worry about. 
Let's go... Uh, let's go that. No. Get into a low damage move. We might as well blow Fortress over to... What am I doing? Psychic would do more damage against that wall. Okay. Uh, actually... Nah, I'd probably better go Ancient Power. I'm just very wishy-washy this battle. Let's finish this off. Let's take out that Grump Pig. Let's do all this. Come on. Don't hurt yourself in confusion. Good. Ancient Power. Sound like a drill sergeant all of a sudden. Go! It's done! Attack! Defense! Speed! Special attack! Special defense! It's the ultimate taunt, taking you down with all of my stats going up all at once. Taunt, okay. Can we just... Okay. I don't care that you're taunting me into only using damaging moves. That's all I was going to do for the rest of this battle, on Mustache at least. I was thinking about using... Light screen, you know, just because you're a special attacker, but that's really all I could say that I was thinking of doing that wasn't that. Sorry about cutting the rest of that. That was just going on a really long time, and I was frankly running out of things to say about Grumpig, so I'm kind of just done there. All right, go ahead and start walking away. Leaving your boss doing Trying to take you head on was a bad idea. Yeah, see, you were smarter before. You got dumber as time went on. Oh, hey, not bad. Pretty impressive, if I may say so. Listen, kid, why don't you join us? We'll smash Cypher together. We snag all the Shadow Pokemon from them using the Snag Machine. Cypher will collapse. When that happens, Team Snagum will step up and take over. How about it? Will you join us? No! Alright, you mean to get the Snag Machine back no matter what. Fine! You'll have your Snag Machine back, but only if you can beat me! I can never get enough of this boss theme. It gets me psyched up for an awesome fight. Let's do this. Electrode, level 30, electric type, static for its ability. Spark, sonic boom, facade thief. Also, Nuzly, level 32, grass dark type. Fake out, aerial ace, hyper beam. This is a powerhouse starter right here. That hyper beam, although it's not from fully evolved Pokemon, can still definitely hurt. Uh, I'm trying to think about how I want to go about this thing. I'm going to target that Nuzleaf with an Ice Beam. Hope I get a one-hit KO. Goes for the Fake Out, of course. I don't know why I thought it was going to do anything else. Probably going to be on Jinzo, to be perfectly honest with you. Good. I can take it out next turn before it gets off the Hyper Beam. All right. Not really all that worried about Electrode. Spark is going to... Uh-oh, that did more than I thought. Crap. Okay. Jinzo flinches. I get off an Ice Beam. Let's see how we do. Good. I predicted that right. So down goes Nuzleaf, and what is he sending out on number three? Vile Plume, level 30, Grass Poison type, Chlorophyll for the ability, Giga Drain, Sleep Powder, Hyper Beam. Don't have to worry about its ability all that much here. If you haven't noticed, there is a theme here. He likes the move Hyper Beam a lot. Just saying. Okay. Uh, gonna go for the Psychic on Vile Plume, and I'm going to predict that he's gonna go for the kill on Mustache there. So, I'm switching out to Voltaire, seeing what I can do there. Didn't mean to rhyme thar, but I did thar. I... Okay, there, I'm just trying to force it. Okay, let's not do that. Okay, so this should do it. Goes for the spark. Knew it. Volt Absorb made it useless. There we go. Psychic. I don't know what it is with me using my water type as... No, actually, no, I used Aron as bait and then one of the boss fights before, so never mind. Psychic takes out the Vile Plume in one shot. Didn't stand a chance. What is your fourth Pokemon, sir? I am curious to know. Whiskash, level 31, water ground type, oblivious for the abilities. Don't try using attract on it or uh, kind of good charm. Don't know why you would. Rock Tomb, Hyper Beam, Water Pulse, Spark. This thing can really, really hurt. Just be thankful that it does not have freaking Earthquake of all things. That's really the only thing I can say about this thing that's good is that it does not have Earthquake, so that's at least good for you. Uh, I'm going to continue focusing on Whiskash there, because really the worst thing that that Electric can do now is Facade, and I don't really think it's that big of a deal. Alright, here we go. It's, wow, I knew you were bulky though, but man, you really didn't... Man, that was resilient. See, I stand up to my second then. Not too well, okay. Really want to find another special attack uh, alternate type for a... Or a Alternate type, special type attack, or special attack for uh, Voltaire, because Bite is kind of starting to not keep up as much. If I get Crunch on him, that'd be really nice. I don't remember if he learns that. Oh, well. We'll see. Okay, we'll go for... S uh, 
Psychic there. And I know it's a damage range, but I'll go for Bite. Here we go. Got it! Down it goes. And now, in true Gonzap fashion, what is his last Pokemon? Skarmory. Level 32, Steel Flying type. Keen Eye for its ability. Hyper Beam, Aerial Ace is all my notes say on this thing, I know. There is a laughable dearth of information on Ore across the internet. And that's really all my research has turned out. If it has other moves, hopefully we'll see them, but this is all the moves that I know of that thing having. I am really, really sorry. I searched to the ends of the earth trying to find more information on Ore, and there just isn't that much out there. I know, it kind of sucks, but this is really all that my research came up with. Let's go for a shockwave. Almost a spark shock, it's not Mega Man. Wow, uh, we didn't even get to see that thing attack. Gonzap, you've gotten soft. Let me guess, you haven't battled anyone this strong in five years. I know. You and everyone else in this godforsaken place. Sonic Boom! Sonic Boom, Sonic Boom, Sonic Boom. It's a law you have to do it whenever there's that attack used. Okay. Second, so gotta finish it off. We got this fight without losing a single Pokemon. Not bad. I know that Jinzo is high level, but damn. That was not hard at all. We are done here. Voltaire grows a level. And that's it. Snagum head Gonzap goes down. No! He had to move his mouth three times to say that one syllable. He's got a fanny pack, guys. <laughs> Look at him, he's wearing a fanny pack. That is amazing. If we had your expertise in the snag machine, we'd have no trouble crushing Cypher. But fine, a promise is a promise. Here, take your snag machine back. Ha, <laughs> are you serious, Gonzo? After all the trouble we went through to get it? Weren't we going to use that thing to teach Cypher a lesson for dumping us? This kid's fighting to bring Cypher down, right? Him and us were both after the same thing. Here, kid, take it. You can have your snag machine back. We got it back! Good thing that crime lords are men of their word, right? That thing didn't fit my arm anyway. <laughs> oh yeah, I might as well give you this too. Just go show how how I can be generous. Trust me, Gonzap, I know how generous you are. I've been opening the item box. We get Gonzap's key. So there's a chest in the corner of the ground floor, and that's the key to it. Quite as simple as that. So Cypher's secret factory is to the north, and they'll be looking forward to crushing Cypher. But Team Snaggle will be able to be in control. Gwahaha. So Team Snaggle is fighting alongside us, not really because they're good, but just because, eh, there's a Pokemon eating cheese somewhere. And Mir B is somewhere. Yes, they're good because, good God, freaking radars. Uh, go south in Gonzap's room, you get two full heals. I know, not really the best item box here. I don't know. I, it seems like Gonzap is quite the liquor drinker and quite the planner. Uh, let's see here. All right, kid, get going. Cyber Secret Factor Sonora. We'll be looking forward to crushing Cyber. That's all he's really saying. Okay, so what I want to do now is I really need to run and heal. And I also really, really need to check on that Poke Spot before all that bait gets eaten. So I think that should take priority beyond getting that Gonzap key used on that chest. Okay, it was nothing important. Let's just use Gonzap's key on this chest. TM30. Shadow Ball. Physical attack that lowers your opponent's special defense. It's kind of a weird move. I know that people are going to tell me it's wrong and that it's special, but Ghost was considered a physical type back when type dictated if your move was physical or special. So here it's kind of a bugged move. Again, it took them a lot longer to correct that than it should have. And if I'm not mistaken, there is one other area here in Snagum's hideout that we did not look at. I think. Let's see. Sure enough, I was right. You can just walk to the right in that area. You go up here. If you join up now, you'll not only get a day's wages, but also a commuting allowance, even, even box lunch. Depending on your qualifications, you can even receive it to 20% more on paid holidays. You won't find terms as good, huh? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, they have benefits. You can't butt into a job interview. This is what you get. I don't care what dental plan they have. Don't rob the world of your gorgeous blue hair. Never join Team Snagum. They'll shave it all off. Came here because the promise to pay my day's wages and buy my lunch. What is this place all about anyway? Yeah, he did not even know. Trust me, man, save your hair. Okay. So, first of all, before we open that, Gene had an item for us. Let's get it. Antidote. Okay. Should also mention I took the experience here off of Jinzo and gave it to Billy Bob. I think that's a fair compromise. What do we got? 
A rare candy. Now we got two of these things. Some of you were calling me out on not using it when a Pokemon was about to evolve like I said I was going to. Thing is, there's some much tougher evolutions coming up, so I wanted to save it for those. And now I got two of them, so that's all just as well. Okay. I think that just about does it, though. We have conquered Gonzap. We have gotten all the items here in the oh-so-generous Snag'em hideout that was not a challenge to take over at all when they give you that much stuff to do it with. I think we're going to call it quits here. Next time on Pokemon XD Gale of Darkness, we head with our snag machine over to the Cypher Key Lair at long last. Get to the bottom of this. See you guys then.